In this video, we're going to be looking at the rest of the content in the Warhammer 40,000 Recruit Edition uh, starter set. Uh, this includes the poster playmat, the two rulers, dice, the uh, core or the manu recruit manual, and the transfer sheet. So I'm going to start with the least interesting interesting stuff just so we can get it out of the way. Uh, first is the ruler and, rulers and dice that come with this. Now, as this is the lowest level introductory kit, it's nice that we actually get two rulers that are a full 12 inches. In the 8th edition first strike box, that was their, their smallest version of this kit. It only came with one ruler that was 6 inches. So to do measure the same distance or more, you'd have to use uh, measure, flip, or move the ruler, and do that repeatedly, causing some of your numbers to not actually be correct measurements. Um, and the ten dice that come with it, they're plain simple white ones. It's kind of hard to go wrong with. Uh, you may or may not have to uh, re-roll dice, although if you're playing with the Necron Warriors, you'll probably have to reuse them a couple more times. So, again, they're not bad to have. Wish we had more, though. Next is our transfer sheet. Now, it's a small one. It's literally just enough to make this squad, or the models in this kit with a few extra. Um, personally wish it was a little more detailed, so something other than Ultramarines. But, hey, Ultramarines seem to be the mascot for Warhammer 40,000, and we're going to be using them all the time. Other than that, the fact that it does have a whole bunch of generic, so everything above where my thumb is, or everything except for where my thumb is, sorry, those are all useful in everything else. Crusade icons and squad markings are going to be used regardless of what army you use. So. Next is the double-sided plane mat. Now, I actually like the paper one for someone who's just getting into it trying to learn the rules because it's nice it's durable you can use it multiple times um, and if you damage it oh well it's not the end of the world uh, the one side this gray ruined battlefield that has some buried containers and buildings has all your essentially markers for where you start for learning so all the missions in the recruit manual use these uh, these five little icons to indicate where to start. The other side is the exact same as the Command Edition box set one. It's this beautifully done Martian or Forge World terrain. Um, again, it's about the same size, if not exactly the same size, as a kill team board. So if you're really looking for a quick... Uh, simple board to put some terrain on for kill team this will work the fact that it actually folds up is even better it folds up smaller than the uh, like a, a normal eight and a half by eleven so you can easily side in a bag and go lastly it's the recruit manual this is everything you're going to need to start playing with this box set so it's got several missions it's got all your instructions to assemble the models um, it's actually a great way to start. It's got a little bit of lore too, for especially for newcomers. Um, and my favorite part is the fact that it even has both variants for the sergeant. So rather than getting the pieces for everything but only being able to build one of them, it has both. The only downside with this manual is there's no painting guide or painting tutorial. So other than looking at the pictures, you are going to have to figure it out yourself, assuming you don't go look online. That's my only downside to this box set. So that has been all the other material that comes with the Recruit Edition box set. I really hope this helps you make up your decision whether you're buying this to expand uh, a pre-existing army or whether you're heading out and buying it to start playing for the very first time. Thanks for watching.